Each year, BC sees hundreds of wildfires across the province. Forests are burned, homes are lost, communities destroyed. And now it seems that the destruction these fires cause don't just stop after the hot summer months. A less recognized impact of wildfires is the potential for increased debris flows, which could potentially lead to greater risk for avalanches in the winter. The vegetation that lies on the landscape is part of the characteristic that determines how well snow will stick to the ground, to put it in its simplest terms. And when you change the vegetative cover, you change the potential for the snowpack to stick to the ground. Larger tree canopies can protect the snowpack from wind, sun, and other factors. But if they've been lost in the fire, it can spell trouble. You know, a simple example would be, you know, trees that shaded a slope would protect it from the sun. And when you remove those trees or burn the canopy off, and they're, they're just these spindly black sticks now, or they're completely gone and lying on the ground, the sun can get at the snow and create a crust in a place where Maybe traditionally you don't see crusts. And in some extreme cases, wildfires can cause hydrophobicity, where the soil will actually repel water. The soil isn't absorbing that water and the water starts running down the slope underneath the snowpack. Now you have a potential for lubrications, which would then cause an avalanche to fail right at the ground. And so experts are saying that areas that have suffered major burns that have altered the vegetation cover will likely warrant a higher avalanche terrain exposure scale rating. So if you plan to head out into the backcountry this winter, even to an area that you've skied for years, if it's been exposed to wildfire recently, you should be extra careful. Use your daily process, get the training, make sure you have the tools you need and the skills you need to assess and manage your risk. Make sure that you've got your rescue gear, nothing's really changed. But just don't assume that everything is going to be the same as it was last year or the year before or the year before that, if you have, especially if you have historical knowledge about a place and are using that as your primary input for decision making. 